The first thing we're going to do is calculate the kinetic energy at point A, which is equal to 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared. Next, we're going to calculate the potential energy, which is equal to the mass times gravity times the height. Quick note, when putting in a number for the height, you can technically measure it from any spot, as long as you are consistent and measure it from the same spot at both point A and point B. In this case, we're going to measure the height from the ground and call that zero. But you may see other problems where the height is measured from somewhere in the air, and thus height can be negative. So moving on, we now add the kinetic and potential energy together to get the total energy at point A, which is 173,000 joules. Looking at point B, we're asked to find the velocity, which we will figure out by writing out the equations for the kinetic and potential energy. Here, kinetic is again 1 half mv squared, where v is unknown, so we'll just leave it as a variable. And the potential is mgh, but since the roller coaster is on the ground, h equals zero, so the whole potential is zero. This shows how all the potential energy has transferred into kinetic energy, and so the total energy at point B is just equal to 1 half mv squared. 